it's going to sound silly, but it was when, when I really started to embrace who I was and realized that what I had was not a weakness, but instead it was a strength. It was a superpower (laughs) in some ways was when we were on vacation and we had been on vacation in the same location the prior year. And we came back to a store that we had been to, you know, over and over and over again. And I went up and I paid for something and the cashier looked at me and said, I remember you. And in that little moment, I realized, you know what? I'm a very memorable person. I have something now that makes people remember me and make a connection that when they see me, that I'm not just another face in the crowd. I'm not just another person, but they actually have some little bit of connection with me. And I realized in that moment in West Yellowstone, Montana, that that was actually a huge power and a strength and an emboldening moment. You remember me? You see a million people come to this town every year, but you remember me. What does that mean for me? If you remember me, then I better do something that's worth your memory. I better do something that's memorable. And so I started wanting to leave people with more than they would have had otherwise. I wanted to give them something that was worthy of that memory. I wanted to make them feel better in my presence. I wanted to make them feel better about themselves, make them feel good about who they were by showing that I could accept me and that I didn't have to focus on it, but that I could still focus on them and that I could make their day when otherwise maybe they would have been feeling sorry for me or being feeling yeah. like I was in a vulnerable position. I wanted to turn that around and show that, no, I'm actually in a position of strength because I'm using what I have to do good and to be a powerhouse and a force for good in the world. And when I did that, I also started realizing I didn't want to stay as it was. I wanted to make progress. I wanted to get better. And I started consuming literature and reading books about the brain and how to, you know, the brain that heals itself and how do you get better? How do you do better? And doing more therapy and and practicing the, the things that I was supposed to do, the little therapies I was supposed to do. I wanted... I wanted to be memorable in the best way possible, knowing that people were going to see me differently, wanting to make sure that that different was coming from a place of God and of spirit and of making them feel better instead of worse or feeling better about me instead of worse. I wanted it to be for something powerful and good. So what it sounds like is uh, your advice to someone in this position would be to Focus in on something that you do provide the world. And instead of obsessively focusing about what you don't have, you focus on that one superpower that you do have and max it out. Really give the world that skill. Is that what you're saying? They say in business that you you do the... Um... You look at your opportunities and your threats. You look at your strengths and your weaknesses. You do the whole SWOT analysis. But what they say is, you know, really your time is much better spent on focusing on your strengths rather than your areas of weakness. And that's just it. And now I call it, I call it superspective, which is where you look at where you are in any given moment. And rather than taking the perspective of, being at a low point or seeing your weakness, then instead you realize that your superpower will come from the positive things that you identify in that perspective. And so in my case, it was, hey, I I have something to offer. And this thing that makes me memorable could also allow me to leave a powerful message with someone else. That is a super perspective. That is a superpower yeah but only comes when you put things in the right perspective. And so whatever situation you're in, number one, you do still have to take the time to, to mourn things that are, I mean, there, there is a time process. You can't immediately just, you don't, you can't skip the phases. Um, They might not come in an order that you anticipate, but you don't get in a car accident and start jumping up and down and saying, yeah, I got into a car accident. This is the best thing that could have happened. But you can be grateful that you walked away from that car accident and that 
your car was totaled, but your body is okay. Or, you know, whatever. You can choose to see different things in the perspective. And I, I believe that when we choose to look for the strengths and look for the positives, that that becomes a super perspective. That's a superpower for us, is seeing things that others wouldn't see um, in that moment and identifying those things wherein we have strength at that moment. Even if that means something as small as, oh, I'm not feeling as well today, I'm going to give myself a little TLC and I'm going to go lay down in my bedroom and take a nap. Okay, you know what? Good on you. You treated yourself like you would want to treat someone else. You would give them that TLC. You would tell someone else to take care of themselves and now you've done it for yourself. So that can be a super power moment, a super perspective moment where you are good to yourself. So it's going to look different from day to day. It's going to be different according to how and where you show up and what the circumstances are. But I do believe even in our hardest moments, we can now look at it from the perspective of how can this make me better? How can this be a, a strength instead of a weakness?